Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. It's a little bit of a chaotic day around here. That's okay. We are getting started. We'll work for the day. It's lunchtime right now. We're making some lunch, some macaroni and cheese, and I'm getting ready to start science with the kids. We've got to do a little science experiment today. We are starting a little science unit today. Water and our world. It's like 60 something degrees here today. I think it's like, let me, let me check. I think it's like 64, 65. Yeah, it's currently 64. Uh, the high today is 70. Can you believe that? Yeah, it's gonna be like 60s, 70s. We have a couple days in the 50s, but it's starting to warm up. I feel that spring is coming. You guys excited for spring? Me. I'm just kidding. Excited for warmer weather? Finally, yes. I want to be able to go outside. I want to have to take up some size of spring clothes. Are you excited for warmer weather? No? You don't want warmer weather for horseback riding and to be outside? I'm excited for pink clothes. I don't want to be hot and miserable. That's the worst. I like it being chilly. Don't advise living in the south then. is ready right at the time that we are about to start our experiments. So we're gonna take a quick lunch break. Oh, if we mentioned this in the last vlog, but our neighbors cut down all the trees in between our house. There was a bunch of trees in between our houses and they just had them all removed a couple days ago. And I think, I think that what they're gonna do is extend their cement pad. Um, Cause they have a lot, of, they have a lot of children as well. And they have a lot of older children and a lot of drivers in their house. So they have a lot of cars. And I think what they're gonna do is extend their driveway so they have more room to park their cars because they were parking cars on the grass over there. So I think that's why they did that, but it makes like the side of our yard feel naked, like without the trees. And I don't know, I like the trees for privacy and, and um, shade, that's it, shade. And now there's no trees over there anymore. I'm kind of sad. How's your macaroni? Oh, have you ever had rice a -roni? rice a the San Francisco treat. Have you ever had rice a Y'all, give this video a thumbs up if you ever ate rice a as a kid. Aunt Ashley and I used to eat the heck out of some, was it, I think it was the beef rice a -roni. It was the one in a red box. It's like a boxed rice, but it was like a mix, mixed rice with seasoning and stuff. Yeah, I don't know, it's rice a -roni, the San Francisco yeah. treat. Yes, we ate that a ton as kids. I'm going to put some blue coloring into that water. Four. You're gonna count how many water droplets you can put on here before it overflows over the edge of the penny. Because remember we learned that water molecules are what? Water molecule likes to bond because it's what? Do you remember the word? Cohesive. Right. Pressure is on. Smell the water, my Benji, Benji, boo, BB-8. Eagles. Where's your BB-8? There's your BB-8. Kennedy is the penny water winner. It's a dubious honor, but congratulations, nonetheless. Oh, oh. See that? So. All those water molecules are adhering to the plastic. Let's do the tissue. Yeah, that one's just gonna soak. Oh, see. Hmm. What happened there? Can you see any of them? 
<laughs> Can you see any granules of the sugar at all? No, but I was right because water is a Molecule. Which means it can dissolve something. So it dissolved them. Now I'm fishing moles. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, so everybody, I try to rise up on your haunches. Let's see it. Come on. Come on, let's see it. All right, so we got done with group, or I shouldn't say we, I should say Angie got done with group work. Um, the science lesson was awesome today. I'm gonna take Kennedy, Shelby, Noah, and Jonah on a quick bike ride around the block just because it's like, I think it's 70 degrees out. I think for the first time in forever it hits 70 degrees. So we're gonna go outside and have a little fun because the weather is beautiful um, and I need some fresh air. I wait to see Twins are both sleeping, and Sierra just took some of the kids for a bike ride. It's one of our like goals for spring and summer is to teach Rosie how to ride a bike um, so that she can go on those bike rides and or potentially get bikes for Sierra and I with like one of those things that you pull behind. If we can't, you know what I mean? Like if we can't teach her, if she can't quite pick it up yet, if she needs more time. Um, a lot of times kids with Down syndrome, their coordination makes it a little hard for them to learn to ride a bike. Uh, one of my favorite books though, I've talked about before, that book, that's a memoir called Un An Uncomplicated Life. It was written by a father of a daughter with Down syndrome. And on the cover is a picture of her riding a bike because he was just like determined that all these things they said that she wouldn't be able to do and stuff, like he was determined that he was gonna help her to be able to do as many of them as possible. And it's, she graduates from high school, she goes to college, um, and he teaches her to ride a bike. Yeah, so it's not that I don't think Rosie can do it, it's just that I think it might take her a little longer to learn. And in the interim, I want her to be able to join everybody when they go for bike rides and stuff. So right now, she's happy to have some time with me and Benji, the twins are sleeping, but um, she hears me talking about her. But anyway, so that's on my, Sorry, I'm out of breath <laughs> on my spring and summer bucket list um, is to teach Rosie how to ride a bike. What say ye? You want to learn to ride a bike too? You want to learn to ride a bike too? Why? All right, schoolwork is basically done. This one's got one more subject she's hiding over there. She wrote on her forehead. Anyways, so now we're going to start our afternoon cleanup after school. We're tackling some chores. A little dishes to do, a little sweeping, little little post school work, post bike ride cleanup. It's how we roll around here, you know? The only way to keep this house clean with so many dilly dang people in it. To make everybody contribute to cleaning up. I look at this right now. Look at this. Bum, bum, bum. Need to clean the floor under your feet, dude. He makes a slobber party on the floor where he's drooling on the floor underneath and then he like slips around on his own drool while in the jumper. You're spit skating. Spit skating. <laughs>
All right, so the, the twins are still napping. Benji Man and I are gonna start making some dinner tonight. We're gonna do like a lemon garlic salmon with green beans and mashed potatoes. Rosie says, mmm, from the living room. It actually is a pretty good recipe. Salmon is usually, I mean, it's so versatile. You can cook it so many different ways. This one is all done inside, so it's something that we usually turn to during the colder months when I can't either smoke it um, or, or cook it on the grill. This is something that's all done stove tops. I just snuck out for a few minutes. I had to go pick up a prescription, and I took the opportunity to get my nails done really quickly. Gel manicures, they go really fast, especially this place I go, the do, it, they're always like really quick. So I went and did that and we're getting some salmon. We're getting some salmon going here, green beans. Oh, I thought we were having asparagus with it. I mixed it up. The green beans were, they were close to turnip. We got it up. All right, and some mashed taters. Yep. And it shall be good. Are you doing the lemon butter salmon? Um, correct. Okay, yeah, the winter well. Recipe. That will be, I'm gonna do a video over on my Angela Brandon channel where we're gonna do dinners of the week and I'll share the recipe and everything over there. What's so, what's yeah. tomorrow? Tomorrow is this guy's birthday. How old are you? 45? 46. 36. 36. So, 36 tomorrow. I feel sick. Are you excited? I am, I'm very excited. You're gonna be in your mid, like, well, you're already in your mid 30s. This, this is, is your last year in your I mid 30s, feel, then you're in your late 30s. So I like feel 22. That. That's what's insane. You act 22, so I that's just took a, I just went on a scooter ride for crying out loud. I mean, let's, seems call, appropriate. let's, let's we'll call a spade April a spade. Fools. What? We'll be April Fools on April It will be April Fools on April 1st. Because I really want April people. You really want to April people? You mean you want to prank people <laughs> with an April Fools joke? He wants to April people. So. Last year they covered the toilet in cellophane. Yeah, they and covered it, it all over the place plastic wrap. in the morning. My kids, they like to do happy. they like to do the pranks, especially the older girls, and now they've got Noah on the, the train of the, the prank train. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Can you say bye? Uh-oh. I hear twins are fussing. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed and we'll see you guys again very soon. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. And how long can we walk that line?